viewer welcome to day 17 of vlogtober right so today is tuesday as you see i have ventured out and i haven't melted <laughs> with the fresh air <laughs> oh my gosh because i've been here for so many days but there you go oh trust me if i didn't have to i wouldn't be doing it today either elmy sulkin indoors because mum has got to go out and get him some biscuits <laughs> I told him I've got to get your biscuits, I'm gone. I don't know. It gets up on top of the freezer and then I'm not quick enough. I can't open the back door. And he knows it. He sits there and looks at me with that look on his face. As if to, oh, he really does. He really does. And then, uh, so I have to go in out the front and walk all the way around. He's a little devil with my boy. He's a little devil. Cool, that sun's bright today. Oh, let's see if I can get you in a better position. Oh, that's not... <laughs> Oh my gosh, what's happened? Oh dear me. Oh, right. oh, that's a bit better. Oh dear. Right, so let's go shopping and then we'll upload the yarn cozies later on and we'll see what today brings. Look what I got. I know Glenn is going to throttle me. I know he is because I think he's getting a bit fed up with pumpkins. <laughs> but a pumpkin doormat. Could I say no to a pumpkin doormat? No, I could not. <laughs> so, and I'm going to take you in the kitchen and I'm going to show you what else I've got. <sighs> Glenn and I have been looking out for a new casserole dish. So I popped into the charity shop. I ain't been there for days, obviously. And this one, very nice, nice size, nice, um, clean and in, in condition, four pound. So I was well chuffed with that. And I got this, oh, I've been after one of these for so, so long. It's, hang on a second, it's a denim dress, I know, it was only £5 in the charity shop, talk about bargain, I managed to find an actual hard copy of this Manning Tree Witches for a pound, I've listened to it on a borrow box, it's amazing, absolutely amazing and I always said to Glenn if I ever saw one I would get it because I'd love to read it in hard copy so I got that. And I've got that lot to pack away now. Oh, wish me luck. God, I got a mug. <laughs> he really is going to throttle me because he's here. I've got my mugs are just unbelievable. But could I say no to that? No, I couldn't. Could I now? So it's Hope Bargains full, not mine. Hope Bargains. <laughs> right then, okay. We've been fed and watered, <laughs> as they say. Yesterday, just quickly, I got a naughty. Now, I found this on the Works website. Actually, postage was more than what the book was, but I've been after this book since it was launched. I think it was August this year. The write-ups have been good and everything. So, I wonder if you can guess what it is. <laughs> yeah. The Pumpkin Spice Cafe. I started it last night and I couldn't put it down. Honestly, you know I'm a slow reader and I actually nearly finished three chapters and I started the, nearly finished, nearly started the fourth. It's actually, uh, tis the season to fall in love. So it's obviously you know, a rom-com thing, but and uh, it's by Laurie Gilmore. Look at that cover. Uh, look at that. Honestly, it's brilliant. It should have been £9.99. From the works, £2.50. And you know I don't often buy new books, but for £2.50, I couldn't resist it saying it was free three ninety five postage. So that was more to post it, but hey ho, it was still cheaper with the postage than actually going to, you know, to... that time of day. <laughs> Honestly, oh, if anybody is as pumpkin crazy as I am. Surely there's someone else out there. <laughs> yes, I would recommend. So I've only I've only read the first three chapters, but oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm loving it so far. Oh, he's getting all excited now because he's he's think he always does it because he knows he's a good boy. You see, <laughs> right then, okay. So now we have got to set up to pho photograph. The yarn cozies. I've had notification that the new fabrics have been dispatched. So fingers crossed they will be here tomorrow, I reckon. Not today, I reckon they'll be tomorrow. 
so yeah i'm looking forward to getting started on those so anyway these are going to go in now but as i say there is going to be some more of the yarn cozies in this fabric but the actual oh bless you <laughs> but the actual um nutcracker-ish related project bags they will be the one off they are literally what i make will go in the shop and that will be it so okay Let's start work. Oh, let's get over. <laughs> right then, so this is basically how I do it. <laughs> My little table and I sit on the poofy. <laughs> and just take loads of photographs. And yeah, and the, the bit that take the time is obviously body in the shop. But hey -o, hey -o. <laughs> Right then, so let's start. Oh dear. Right then, that's the photographs done. So then we're going to upload it. Oh, and then I think I'll call it a day today. So tomorrow I'll show you the tail. I hold my tension on the crochet hook. Because I ain't going anywhere tomorrow. I'm in, in tomorrow. So I've done all the shopping and stuff. And I've got parcels coming, obviously, with the, the fabric and that. So I think I'm going to have a break with the Union Jack scarf. And do the sleeve on my cardigan. Because I really, really would love to wear that now. It would be a perfect time to wear it. So I'm going to do a bit of that this afternoon. And... Yeah, I think that's about it for today. So, <laughs> we went out and about. Glenn ain't home yet, so I haven't had a reaction over the door. <laughs> oh, gosh, what's he going to say? Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, I am going to disappear. As I say, I'll show you the crochet thing tomorrow. Um, and I think that was everything. I think it was today because apparently we've got a real bad storm hitting the country again tomorrow. So winds and rain and stuff. So uh, yeah, uh, it's a bit disappointing. So I want to I wash my new dress that I got from the charity shop today. <laughs> I can't wait to wear that because I thought because it's a low V here, I'm just going to wear a t-shirt underneath it and then match the tights with the top because I got woolly tights all different colours. So yeah, it'll be perfect. I can't wait to wear it. It'll be so comfortable. You're going to see me a lot in that, I reckon. <laughs> Definitely. Right, then I think that's everything for today. So yes, I am going to bimble off then. So, and um, I'll be back tomorrow. But as I say, another lazy day tomorrow. Oh, I say lazy day. Do I ever have a lazy day? I don't think so. <laughs> Elby's gone to bed. So... Yeah, so I am going to go. So please take care, stay safe. And as always, my lovelies, happy crafting. Bye. Sorry, back. <laughs> I think you might notice that. I didn't tell you what I'm going to upload them. They are going to be today, okay? So I'm going to try and get this video up first. Then I will do it in the shop. Um, What's the time now? One o'clock. <sighs> Oh, will it upload by then? I'm trying to think. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. I'll say that I would upload them in the shop round about four, half past four. British sub. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. We're still in British summer time, aren't we? We have book clocks back here, we? No. Anyway, UK time. So that'll be between four and half past this, evening, this afternoon. They'll go in the shop. So I've got to quickly get this uploaded because I do everything on my phone. I can't. You know, do two things at once, unfortunately. <laughs> I can, but the phone can't. Anyway, so I'm going to get that done now, and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>